I found the perfect travel camera. And so today we're gonna talk about it. Let's go. Okay, so this year was my year of traveling. This year was my year of documenting my life the easiest way possible, but still with quality. And so I did a full research haul of the best travel camera, the best everyday camera, the best street photography camera, whatever that looked like. I knew that I wanted to have something super small. I wanted to have something that was going to replace my Canon AE-1. I wanted to have something that I could use every single day and just use as an accessory to take with me to document my life. And I think the best travel camera to do all of those things is the Fujifilm X100V. And there are a couple reasons why I personally like this camera. I've had it for a couple months now. I had the F before I actually got the V. I had the F for probably like some weeks. There are some similarities and some differences with both cameras, but in all in all, both cameras work the exact same and they're perfect for everyday documenting your life travel content so the first thing i want to talk about on why i decided to purchase this camera is one the size so as you can see this camera is small it's i love it it's super lightweight so it's not heavy at all i do believe to me personally the f was a little lighter than the v so i did like the aspect of the f being a little lighter but i do like the fact that this is small i literally use it as an accessory i wrap it over my body and i take it wherever i go it's literally my purse and the fact that i can actually put it in my purse a super small purse at that so it's really small, it's durable, it's weatherproof. So when I was in Japan with it, um, it was raining outside and I feel I didn't feel that bad still trying to take pictures with me being out in this rain and this weather. So I like the size of it and it's dope. The second thing I like about it is that it actually doesn't have an interchangeable lens. And I've had talks with people and they're like, oh, that's so weird. Normally you want to get a camera that has an interchangeable lens. But for me, I didn't want to focus so much on the fact that if I wanted to get a shot, I needed to have all these lenses with me and switch out and miss the shot and not be present. I did that with my Canon AE-1 and when I was in Africa and it was just a lot trying to bring multiple lenses with me to try to hurry up and switch out a shot. I just wanted something that was an everyday. I took the picture. I didn't have to worry about all these lenses and all these accessories. It was just a matter of using what you have in the simplest form to, you know, document. And that was important to me. So I didn't want to have a camera that did an interchangeable lens because I have so many cameras that do that. I have the FX3 where I can switch out lenses. I have the uh, EOS R where I can switch out lenses and I have the Blackmagic and I I have all of these different cameras where I they do have interchangeable lenses. I didn't want to have another camera that did what all of those cameras did. I strictly, for me, it was a matter of finding a photography camera. And that's what this is. It's a camera for photography. So I have my Blackmagic for video. I have my FX3 for video. I have my EOS R for photo and video. So what camera did I have strictly just for photography to document my life? So that leads me to the third reason why I actually really like this camera is because even though it is a photo camera, it does give you video capabilities. When I was doing research, I noticed that this camera went crazy on TikTok. I really didn't know a lot about this camera. I just knew I wanted a camera that like I said, would document my life. But when I was researching, I realized that it got really popular off TikTok and I understand why. And if you're trying to use it to shoot talking heads like this, YouTube content, long form content, it's not gonna work, it does overheat. But if you're going to be using this camera really to just shoot social content, 15 second content, things like that, this is perfect for. So the content that you really wanna get out into the world and just put it out there without overthinking, that's what this camera is for. So I do a lot of my IG reels with this camera, my YouTube shorts, my TikToks. I shoot all of my photos with this camera. I have even started using this camera for professional work, behind the scenes photos, and I love the ease of use with this camera. And so that was really important for me personally is that I could still potentially do video um, short form content if I wanted to. And even with the video aspect, you don't have to shoot F-Log. You can still shoot with a film emulation and not have to do a lot of editing. So 
The fourth reason was the ease of use with this camera. I don't have to add a workflow because that's not what it was made for. It wasn't made for me to have to focus on editing and coloring and all of these different steps just to document my life. When you're documenting your life, when you're a street photographer and all these things, you wanna try to make sure that your workflow is as easy as possible. I don't wanna have to be just literally to take pictures of my family doing all of these different things just to get a photo out. My family don't care, they just wanna see the photo. So the ease of use and not having such an extreme workflow with this camera was important to me as well. The same with the F, like the only difference between the F and the V is that of course, the F does not have 4K video like this camera does. Um, but again, I don't use this camera as much for video. I have other cameras for that. And this camera doesn't have image stabilization. So that's another thing that you, you know, it's again, if you want a video camera, this isn't for you. But if you want a photo camera with video capabilities, this might be the best tra travel camera for you. But I did like the fact that the F was a little more lightweight and the only other difference between these two cameras, to be honest, is the flip screen, which if you're shooting a lot of vertical content, that doesn't really matter, and the naming conventions within the camera. So I thought it was going to be extremely important for me to actually name my film emulations, Portrait 400, Cine Steel 800, but I honestly just scrub through to see which one fits what I'm shooting, and I use it that way. So I don't think the naming conventions were as important as I thought, um, but those are the only differences I saw between the F and the V. So I do have my cousin Michael who had the camera for probably over a year or so and he's had the F I only had the F for two weeks so he could probably explain it way better on why he thinks the F which is pretty much the little brother to the V is a great everyday travel camera yo what it do what's up cuz how you doing man thank you for letting me bless your channel real quick because I really want to talk about a camera that is near and dear to me it is the X 100 F now Check this out. It's not the X100V, but it's about 75 to 80% of the V. They're both great cameras. If I had the choice right now with both of them in front of me, I would definitely choose the V. But we all know the V is like sold out everywhere. Like there, There's literally nowhere to get in unless you want to pay like double, triple. I actually picked my F up about two years ago before everything went absolutely bananas on social media with the V. So the F doesn't have the updated lens, it doesn't have the flip screen, it doesn't have 4K, and it also doesn't have classic negative. And I haven't really seen any of those as a limitation to what I do. So I literally take this camera everywhere I go. And when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. If I go to a football game, if I'm going to a concert, if I'm going to the beach, if I'm going anywhere, this camera is always, always with me. The one thing about this camera that I absolutely love is that it gave me a newfound love for photography and i know that sounds weird but it really did uh, i don't really think about the photos as much as i'm more enjoying the moment i make it even easier on myself by running it in aperture priority only but long story short i absolutely love this camera so if you can't find a v anywhere and you don't want to pay the huge markup uh give a f a look so once again cuz thank you for letting me bless your channel and to everybody out there, uh, stay blessed, stay safe, man. One love. Peace. One thing that he mentioned was the fact that taking it to concerts, like the fact that it doesn't have her interchangeable lens, you can actually get away with taking it to concerts because they deem professional cameras as cameras with interchangeable lenses. The fact that this doesn't have her interchangeable lens means that you can actually get away with taking it to a concert and still getting really great images from that. And it's super small that it can fit in those small purses that you know they only let women bring. So of course, the thing for me is I pair this with my iPhone. Sometimes the iPhone doesn't work in low light. Sometimes the iPhone can't really get you that quality that you want in certain circumstances and so pairing this with my iPhone is great because I'm always gonna have my phone and this is just as small so I get the hype of this camera I truly do and I'm actually late to the game like this camera has been out way longer than I knew about it but this camera is amazing it still gives you the film look you can add whatever film simulations you want they have an app where you can see all of them and you just add it to your camera um, I love it I, again like I've I, I know it's cliche as it sounds and you guys have probably heard it before, but it really did spark new creativity in me when I started using this camera because I just didn't have to worry about workflow. I didn't have to worry about everything that I have to worry about as a YouTuber or a creator where I'm shooting with the FX3 and I'm coloring and I'm doing all this stuff. I'm shooting s Lock 3 blah, 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 blah. It was like, oh, this camera just allows you to shoot 
and create beautiful content like that. And I was like, yo, I can focus on just composition. I can focus on just what's happening in the moment, being present and taking pictures of my new niece and taking pictures of my family and, you know, taking pictures as I travel. And it's just such an easy camera if you want something that's just like, I just want to document. I just want to take pictures, forget all this other stuff. I just want to create easily. This is the camera for you and I'm going to stand on it. I think it's probably one of the top best travel everyday cameras that you can buy if you're looking for just cameras to document in a sense of photography. Again, I only shoot JPEG. To be honest with you, I know I could shoot raw and JPEG. My friends do it. And I know I probably should for a backup. But I've only been shooting JPEG recently with this camera and I don't really have to do much. <laughs> and so it's actually making me, it's like, it's like taking us back years before all this stuff was as important and, 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 you know, to be honest with you, YouTube kind of sucks us into this whole fad of all these things. But before all of this stuff, we really was just creating so easily. We didn't worry so much about every day having to color. Like nobody was doing that every single day. So it takes you back to just like having the cameras that you would buy, a digital camera that you would just buy at your Walmart or your Best Buys and you would just snap and upload it to your friends. This takes you back to that. So I love this camera. Thank you, Michael, for telling us about the F. Again, they're both great cameras. So if you can't find the V because it's sold out everywhere, definitely check into getting the F. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. What's your everyday travel documentary type of camera? I'm interested to see what camera you all like, whether that is your phone or if you actually want a solo camera that does the things for you. What camera are you interested in? What camera do you already have? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.